Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel. It is about building a two-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 51. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon, Patreon's team. Thank you very much, guys, for your generous help. If you also would like to help to support this channel, there are the links down below. First thing today, I want to know if the tube cutter I built, if it will be able to handle the weight of the tube. We will leave the differential there in the tube uh, for this reason right now. že to zvednu. Ty to tam nezvednu. Check this out, guys. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> so the chains and the top, they are not stretched. So a whole weight is on this platform. It's probably 100 kilos, the tube, another 50 kilos, the rest of it. So is it spinning freely? Yes, it's spinning, no problem. We got it. <laughs> it's a little bit sketchy. <laughs> so I got it up and down. I have to admit it was a little bit sketchy, but now it's laying down over here on this platform and we are going to take the differential out of it and differential out of that small tube over here and maybe even differentials from all tubes because we'll need them later to pr uh, get them prepared for cutting and welding. But before I start working on the tubes, I need to finish the cutter first. And let's check if the turning table didn't lose the accuracy after I put that tube on the top of it. It's still good.
I don't know how the brick for it helps the greasy plywood as a preparation for the paint, but I think still, it's still better than nothing. Check this out guys, look at that. We got painted uh, all big components of the, of the cutter that needed to be painted. And while we are waiting till this gets dried, let's get back to the, to the tube. We are going to cut off these, these things over here and we'll remove the differential. Finally learn a little bit how to work with that. And now I will unscrew these studs over here. This one and this one. And which hold, uh, they hold the differential in position. And then I will push uh, the differential out of the tube with this shaft. Yes! <laughs> Pretty messy. <laughs> okay, another open differential. <clears throat> Do you wanna make your own uh, Tatra tube cutter? The differential is available. That's awesome. So the first tube for the rear axle is ready to be cut. And now we have to take the second tube, remove the differential, the lockable, and do the same. Now let's remove this differential.
I thought I took the oil out and apparently I didn't. Will be a little bit messy here. I, I think it's out. Awesome, it is there. And a lot of oil. Day two. Hey everybody, it's another day and today we'll continue where we finished last time. I managed to prepare both tubes for the rear steering axles for the modification for the cutting. What we have left over here is the tube between the tandem rear axle originally. It's this one from first Tatra and that one for the second Tatra. And uh, this one is Interesting because this one has the axle locker or axle differential with the locker and there is also inter axle locker over here and everything is one piece. It, it occupies about two thirds of this tube and it's very heavy. We don't need this tube yet, but uh, later on we will need part of this tube to connect front and rear steering axle with our belt. And I also would like to see what is actually inside because I might use the part of the inside, inside part for our belt, maybe. Let's go. As you can see, this beast sits on two places. It's a monster there. Maybe 60 kilos inside. I don't know how difficult this will be because it sits on two places instead of one over here and over here. So I will have double friction over there. So I will put it directly on the ground because the bench is kind of flexible. We need to have um, maximum rigidity of the tube. It will be fun. Let's take a look how it looks inside. I don't really know if it's two pieces or one piece. I think it's one piece. I see they're moving. You wanna see the two, right? <laughs> how will I do it? Uh, I will try to lift it with one hand. This is so difficult. If I did it without the camera, I would be like four times quicker. See that? <laughs> this is pretty good workout. Okay. It's dropped about an inch. You can see that there, over here. It actually goes pretty well, maybe because of the weight of all of it is helping me, the gravity. Ah! <laughs> but we have to go through that second seat over there. So it dropped about two inches, three inches down. 
and it's on the floor probably. I have to lift it up now. Actually, the di second diameter is different, so I can go easily through. It's amazing. <laughs> this one is the easiest one. Yeah, it's one piece. It's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. This is the beast. Over here. Where is it? Here, you lock and unlock the differential over here. And when you turn it around, with this one, you engage and disengage the interlocker between two rear tandem axles. These two seats over here, this one is actually bigger than that one. So when I pushed it out, I was lucky that I pushed it out that way because I, if I have done that uh, opposite direction, I would get stuck because this is bigger than that, as I said. Wow. It has at least 60, 60 kilos, maybe 70. Wow, it's massive. And uh, let's do the second one. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. I thought it would be worse. Wow, amazing tool. And let's go to get that sucker out. This one doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna go that way. The bottom one doesn't want to go. The top one is already spinning here. It's out. It was jammed a little bit. Crazy. But it's out. <laughs> now I can't get out the shaft. Okay, shaft is out. Hallelujah! Guys, it was amazing. It wasn't gentle at all, but that second one is outside also. Check this out. Both of them are out. This one is way, way, way dirtier than the first one. Maybe some rust. 
So guys, I clean up this place off camera a little bit. As you can see over here, look at that. You can eat from the floor now, almost. And now we are going to put this tube cutter together. Let's go. I am painting the drill bit. <laughs> Now the threaded rod. Now the differential, the turning table. So the turning table and the rod are there and uh, like that and uh, now the grinder. It's amazing guys, take a look. This cutter is ready over here for cutting these tubes for the rear axle at the back. And these tubes are ready to be welded for this axle over here, the front one. This will be it for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you would like to help us to support this channel, there are the links down below. Thanks for watching and see you on Tuesday.